can have your a good idea as well. Since I don't need this anymore, it's actually damaged. This is that um filter part of the mains uh, mains filter I got out of that burnt out flow part motor. The ferrite was already half broken, so I finished that off. You would have seen this in one of my previous videos. I put a, a ballast saw and ran that the uh, column heater thought. Well it didn't get very warm, so I want to see how uh, if this can deliver enough uh, volts to sustain the current to burn this out. So let's see what happens. Mmm, the glaring's a bit of a problem. Power's on. I finished this uh, half burnt out coil off. I'm trying to burn myself here. Yep, popped it like a fuse. There you go, blue there as well. And had a good coil. This coil is in better nick, so it's going to take a while to burn out. The other one was partially shorted, so that didn't take as long. Yeah, getting warm. I think I need more current. It's not getting very warm at all. What about the ferrite? No. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, the resistance to this coil. The voltage is too low. This will take all day to burn out by the looks of it. Yeah, that won't burn out. Not enough volts. There you go, the good coils are uh, still in good nick, barely even warm. So that one ain't bad to because it was partially shorted. This one, nah, I need more volts. Okay viewers, let's put this in the microwave, let's see what happens, hopefully I get some plasma. There wasn't really much to uh, burn on this, so let's see what happens. Okay viewers, the circuit board's in there, let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the other um, wall socket on. Three, two, one. That's better. Oh, pretty. Ugh. Bit smelly and smoky. Good thing there's breeze blowing it away. So you're gonna make sure you don't want to. Um, get any of that smoke near you. It's toxic, that smoke. Get some plasma. There you go, just let up the fire, bro. Okay, viewers. It's actually our old, old um, degassing coil out of that Mitsubishi TV. There's, uh, there's older ones that are actually copper. There's a good uh, magnet wire in here. I wonder if I can safely unravel and uh, salvage this. I could uh, run a Tesla coil or something with this stuff, with enough patience. It would take a bit to burn out as it is though, because that's uh, designed to have a 240 volt pulse going through it. What I should do if I come across another crappy CRT TV is put my capacitor bank through the degassing coil. While it's on and discharge it, see that was at the picture. That'd be interesting. To uh, take this, borrow this cord off my NST. This is a pretty decent rated cord for this experiment. It's NST. I'm using the old uh, that power cord that came off that Mitsubishi TV, so it is more than suitable for the job for this uh, sort of load. It's only pours about 
let's see, 1.37 amps, and that's that's short circuit, so it is more than capable to supply this without complaining. The viewer's got the ballast hooked up. I want to see if this, uh, how this uh, deflection, uh, deflection, sorry, a degaussing coil from that Mitsubishi TV reacts to this uh, ballasting setup, how well it will take the load. It's not designed to take it for very long, it's designed to take a quick pulse to uh, generate a magnetic field to um, degrade a de picture of the screen. So if there's a magnet or something held in the screen and creates a perfect spot, that degaussing coil is supposed to be energised as soon as your first 10 TV on. Here like a little growl or a buzz or a hum on some TVs. There's older ones you didn't particularly hear anything. They were uh, quiet, they only needed a small pulse to uh, degauss the um, tube. The CRT, but some of the uh, like our um, we've got a 68 centimeter Panasonic, and when you first turn that on, you hear a bit of a growl as it degauses. Usually on from um, when you turn it on from uh, main power, though, not from standby. So we'll just hook this multimeter up, Let's see if we get a very, very crude form of a transformer going here. Um, I've got an AC obviously. Let's see how crude the transformer effect we can get off doing this. I'll plug in. Power on. Yep. Point 0.9 of a volt. It is working to a degree, but it's not very effective. Now if I hold my little chicken stick here with a metal tip, I should be able to feel the mains frequency. Yep, I can feel that quite well. There's some magnetic uh, magnetism going on there. As you can see how it hurts. Yeah, there's not really going to register much. Very crude form of transformer. Obviously, amps are not going to do anything. Let's be careful here. Oh, it's warm. these wires together, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, no, no inducing voltage whatsoever there. Because, um, yeah, I need an iron cord in order for it to act as a transformer. And there you are. I you're starting to smoke. Cool, I can burn this out. Alright, I'll set this up in a better, make a better setup, and I can uh, finish it off. I won't burn it out here, well, and I don't want to wreck my floor. Okay, viewers, let's finish this thing off. Power in. Three, two, one. That's 10 amps going through that. So it's, the column heat is putting a bit less uh, current than it normally would due to the resistance in this coil. Be a bit of a slow burn out, but it'll burn uh, eventually. Oh. I've used for the burn beginning of this experiment, I've used 51 amps so far. You can feel that frequency. Keep it off earth though, so. Do you not let that hit earth, otherwise it can be dangerous and it will trip the RCD, so you be very careful. These bits are completely dry and non-conductive. Be very careful when you do these sorts of experiments. Yep, but she's smoking. Now the, an aluminium coil from a, a modern TV will probably burn easier. Because aluminium is not a very good uh, conductor compared to copper. This sort of coil is not designed to take um, this voltage for very long. It's only designed for a quick pulse. And there you are. You can just strip all that tape off and you get clean copper for scrap. Just burn all the tape off like this. Smell that tape burning.
fill that frequency, 50 hertz. You can also use a magnet, but a steel anything metal on the end of a chicken stick should do. Hold it against a tripod, hopefully the camera picks up the audio. Different positions, different uh, weaker and stronger the field. I've used, see, I've used 70 watt hours so far. Here we go. Hmm, smoky, smoky. Here's some uh, 30 year old duct tape there. Ah. Oh. I think it's going back in circuit. No, it's still going. It's 100, uh, 100 watt hours I've used so far. Oh, it Yes, resistance changed, so it's pulling a bit more power now. I need a higher current, higher voltage transformer to burn this thing out, I think. Regular 240 volts, ballasted is just not enough. Uh oh, I cut it off there, I think. Yep, it's 150 watt hours used. About 11 amps going through that. That meter's not very accurate anyway, so realistically, it's probably 8 going through that. There you are. Smoked it. Hasn't even gone open circuit yet. I need a bigger transformer. Yep. 150 watt hours from where it was at last. Okay, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.